Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization V as we continue our scientific run, deity run here with Korea. Um, science is in a good place. Culture is not so much. And uh, it's really hard to tell. I mean, we're pretty bad. We're not, we're not in a good place overall, for sure. But is it too little too late? I mean, it probably is, but we won't really know until we kind of get moving along with it. So we'll see. I thought I saw that you had some cotton available. Uh, maybe not. Okay. You do have pearls available, which I still think you're not going to give us. <laughs> oh, you're such an idiot. Oh, or maybe I'm the idiot, but for, for believing that you're not going to about to come whoop up on us, but that's all right. I really wish I'd been able to stay order so I could try to be friends with him. Uh, no, I think we can come on for the max gold. That two science is just not that much. Alrighty, what do we want now? Oh, we don't even have the offshore platform at all. So we do need that. I guess we'll work on that so we can get that going. Uh, you're going to go for the amphitheater. You just finished artist guild, which gets us more culture. So we're going to go for, we're actually up to plus, plus 53. That's pretty good. There's some wonders we can build. Oh, Mr. Redentor is really good. Oh, I think musicians guild is our next one. Again, more science, more culture. It's a good double whammy here for us. Is that enough coal to get one more? Or we had enough. Oh, I traded away my coal. Because of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot the coal was one of the things I traded away. Fair enough. Well, that's unfortunate. I totally forgot that that was in the list of what we gave him. New oil was and aluminum was, but I don't remember... Wait, why was coal in that list? Or were we getting coal from somewhere else? Oh, we're going to coal from you. Oh, okay. Makes more sense now. We do not have our own coal. Well, that is troubling. So I'm assuming we're not getting the extra bonus from the, uh, no, we got the modifier for building. So how does that work? I actually don't know, but we do need to try to get this back soon. I mean, does anybody have any coal they want to give us? Doubtful. <sighs> yeah, it doesn't look like anybody has any coal. Unfortunate. Too bad we can't use oil for it. We got oil. We really just did a spy over there. Honestly, you're you need to go there. Because that's kind of an important one for us. That is who? It is the purplish one. Her? It's her. All right, we'll get you sent over to her. See if we can get that coal coming back. All right, well, you're going to become something at some point. Everybody's working on culture right now.
All right, plus two culture and plus two tourism. Or just a big old bunch of flat culture. I think we'll take the culture, the two culture. Yes, this is a lot of culture. It's probably more culture. We'd have to work the tile. This will just sit in one of our buildings and just exist. And I'm just worried that if we put this too close to the board. Well, this one's a little bit further in from the board, so maybe this one is okay. We'll do it. This one's a little bit further in. I think that one's probably okay. Was that five culture? We're up to 58 culture now. Do we have any other archaeological dig sites besides that? Oh, you're digging that one up from under us. How dare you? I mean, I kind of let them have open borders, I think. So, well, it's on me, I guess. I mean, broadcast centers are going to take forever, but 33% more is a decent chunk. I guess you can move over here and grab this one first. Since it's already ready to go, and then we'll hook that one up once we get the technology for it. You take sugar instead. Sugar for salt. Sounds good. I'd really like to get some of these guys upgraded a bit more just to make us look stronger, even though we're still not going to be strong enough to matter. Maybe it doesn't really matter, to be honest. That's, oh, we're up to 67 culture. That's huge. Just getting that percent stuff is pretty big. Um, speaking of percent stuff, I mean, that's more science. So I would, actually, honestly, I kind of feel like we need more gold or food or something. Let's start with the lighthouse. That's a pretty quick build. Uh, you... You need to get your museum and get the percent culture here as well. Uh, you'll pay for this in time. That's how I feel. <laughs> well, not a huge surprise. We knew that was going to happen. Why are we so unhappy? Oh, because we got a lot of stuff from him. Wow, that's that's massive. That's bad. Is massive amount of unhappiness. Okay then. Oh, that's going to be hard. That's almost impossible for us to recover from. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> that just ended the game right there. Because there's no way we can get the gold we need to upgrade our units to survive long enough to get our happiness in a good place to, you know, yeah, we're done. That just, that just ended the game for us. Well, we tried. Unfortunately, you can't really do alliances in this game like you can in uh, Civ 6, so there's just not really a way to lock in people to be happy with you forever. Yep. That, that, that got us. Well, good kudos on them. They did it. Not too surprising. I mean, the only thing we can do is switch everybody to happiness stuff. Try to get as much happiness coming in as possible. I mean, 32 turns for a stadium is insane. I mean, I'll put it in. It's ridiculous. There's no way that's ever going to work. Well, shucks. Why do, why do people have to gang up on you? Like, Civ, six, Civ 5 deity is significantly harder than Civ 6 deity. Significantly harder.
I don't think we even have pearls. Pearls. So why not? Sure, we'll vote with you. I mean, we gotta start upgrading whatever we can. Oh, your iron and gold and all that stuff doesn't really help us that much, my friend. I mean, we'll be friends with you, but you're about dead, my friend. <laughs> of course, we got Lancers attacking us now because, you know, we needed that. Why can't you attack? There we go. I think I was just hitting the wrong button. I mean, yeah, we gotta take what we can get, because we can't go any deeper than 14 unhappiness right now. I mean, this Catlinga does nothing to him. Where'd the Lancers go? I don't even see them anymore. Uh, I'm in a golden age. I don't know that that really helps us right now. I should probably just leave you up there. Deal you with, do your thing. Policies. Um, I mean, we need more gold. But free thought is just overall better I don't know we don't really have a good place to put you I guess we could put you on the aluminum which I just realized is not hooked up I mean, if we somehow kill a couple of his units, then that will slow them down a bit. But I mean, he's just going to bring in a chain of units here in a moment. All our trade routes got plundered. Unfortunately, unlike in Civ VI, don't th well, I guess most of those were uh, city-state ones. I'm going to say they don't get they don't seem to come back to us. But I think uh, I think it's because they were city-state ones, not to Mongolia himself. I oh, killed a unit. Yes. I just don't want you to get away, but this unit's definitely stronger. I just really don't want you to get away. Yeah, see, that the big mistake here was 
going after i mean we should have just stuck with order we should have figured out the ha unhappiness there because obviously losing the uh we, we had to be friends with these guys because these guys are going to be the t some of the toughest guys that we're going to be dealing with We'll just chill you for a moment longer here. I don't see how we could possibly survive this. I mean, we're killing some units, or whatever that's worth. I mean, it's not been that many turns, so I was kind of wishful thinking as all that was. I mean, we kind of need a little bit of money coming in, I guess. Of course, we're going to have barbarian units that we're having to deal with as well. An aircraft carrier just now. That's pretty crazy. And a cannon just now. Up to 77 culture. I mean, we can't afford airplanes, so I don't know if flight really helps us, but it's nice to look at. Uh, I think we'll go ahead and bop you. The more we bop, the more chance we have to piece them out at some point. I don't think it's likely to happen, but technically helps a little bit. Oh, the pillaging. As soon as we lose so, we will call the game there, which is about to happen in one more turn. Why can't we... Oh, it's Ethiopia. I was like, why can't we attack you? You're actually a friend of mine. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, we kept our units weak, but I don't think we were going to be able to make it, even if we had strong units. The only way we could have made it is if we had a handful of like, airplanes floating about. That might have saved the day a little bit. We just hadn't quite gotten there yet. All right, so goodbye. Alrighty, well, we're going to call it there. <laughs> we tried. Goodness, this is tough. Civ 5, significantly harder than Civ 6. Significantly harder than Civ 6. Alrighty. Well, there we go, guys. We'll try again. Uh, I'm going to give it another shot. I'd like to try again as Korea. Uh, I think we definitely did a little bit better as Korea than we did as... Um, as Denmark, even though 
Denmark never really lost any like major cities or anything like that. We were able to stay at peace with people, but that's just because we were isolated. Um, I think from a technological standpoint, we were definitely further along with, with uh, Korea. So we'll see. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.